song's just like all over the place. Let's start over. Radio, kill the radio. <sighs> Hello, people. I'm showing you how to make wallets today. If you'd like to see the 20 takes that it took me to intro, do that tutorial to you. Make sure to stay tuned at the end. All right, guys, today I am showing you how to make duct tape wallets. Okay. These, I am not showing you how to make. It is just a wallet that I cover. And if you want to know how to do it, let me know in the comments below. This is the wallet that I'm showing you how to make for brands. Duct tape, all the way, D-U-C-K, tape. Love you guys. Let's learn how to make these, all right? All right guys, so the key to the duct tape wallets that I make is I line them with foam, which will make such a big difference in your wallets when you're done. So I just get the larger 1 8 foam from Joann's and then I cut it seven inches wide so that you can fit money sideways in them. And then I just cover the inside and I always work from the inside out and that way I get all my scraps going towards the front and then I'll cover that at the end. It'll look pretty bad until you're actually done with it so just don't be alarmed okay so we're gonna wrap all those extra pieces around and then we're gonna start on the credit card holders and the ID holders. so I got these ID strips strips I don't know what they're called they're like the shields that you get in the duct tape section at Joann's and I'm gonna trace it six times so that I have six credit card holders and my duct tape so then I'm just gonna lay them out and get them ready to start covering I only cover one side and then I just use the um, the cardstock to be on the inside so that way you're not, I've noticed that when there's cardstock on the inside, the credit cards slide a little bit better. So we're just gonna start by making the outsides hemmed off with this fabric tape, which you can use duct tape for this, but I like to use the fabric tape because it's it slides better, like I said, with the credit cards and the IDs and things. So you're not sitting there and constantly having friction with your cards. So I'm just gonna do that about six times and then the excess is has to be there so that it holds better when we secure them down with another strip of duct tape. So I'm just gonna secure the ID holder and then we are going to clean it up by putting this half strip of duct tape which you can buy in half strips or you can cut a one regular size duct tape in half and rip it down and it does work. So just wrap those around the outside. The longer those are, the more secure that's actually gonna be because you're gonna be constantly pulling cards in and out of those. So you do want a lot of excess. So I'm just showing you how you can put an ID in there. Of course, I'm gonna use a picture of my daughter instead of my actual ID because I don't want you guys to steal my identity and then go around being like, hey, I'm anti tape. All right, so now we're gonna make the pocket for the bottom. This is where you can hold your money and all your I don't know what else you carry in your wallet, but all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna trace the bottom and finish the top off with the fabric because you'll also be putting stuff in and out of this, so you kinda want it to be secure. Now I'm just gonna cover one side with the duct tape again, and then just secure it on by wrapping the excess to the front. Like I said, the front is gonna look a little crazy until we're finished with that. All right, so the inside is coming together pretty nicely. You'll notice that the bottom has a hole. We're gonna do the snap, and I just like to use these magnetic snaps and I just cut a very long strip and slide it in and I guess it's just easier to watch than to describe what I'm doing so just bend it and then snap it the bend and snap all right okay enough of that all right so I'm putting that on and then just press firmly and you want to make sure that duct tape is really secure the nice thing about duct tape is when you stick it to another set of duct tape it's pretty secure so just make sure you put a lot of pressure on it so I'm gonna start in the middle with this and I'm actually using the really cute Disney princess um, duct tape that you can get at Joann's and I'm gonna start in the middle for the fact that I've got to put the snap on and we're just gonna peel back that and stick it so we're gonna stick it onto the thing so we know and then make an impression so that we can see where it needs to be like so and then pull that off and stick it through so that your snap will make sure to align. That's the, probably the best way that I've ever come up with doing it. I've done it a couple different ways and that's that's really the best way that I've found. So just make sure it closes before you finish off the front. And the thing with the Disney Princess is it's, it's kind of made to line up so I had to do it in pieces which if you have some a different pattern sometimes it doesn't really matter if you do it perfectly but this one I kind of 
have had to match up and then you you just use excess so this time we are not wrapping it around because the other side is already complete we don't want to ruin that so we're just gonna wrap around a little bit of the excess because we're about to cover that with our sides anyways so now I'm just going to cover the sides with my half sheet again just to finish it off and make sure all those raw edges are covered and not exposed because if a raw edge is exposed like that it won't be very durable so I'm just gonna cut off the little ends and then make sure I press all the corners together really well so that all the sticky is formed to each other so like I said I did cover a, an existing wallet and I've done that before and it's actually a really fun tutorial if you guys would like to see it comment below if not I hope you guys can just figure that one out on your own love you guys don't forget to subscribe and enjoy all this wackadoo footage because I just could not get it together this morning. Hey guys, so. Video camera radio. So, I have a tutorial for you. I've been here. I am Auntie Tay. Um, which some people say auntie and some people say auntie. And either way, I don't discriminate. I guess that even doesn't even... Let's start over. I am Uber. Welcome. <laughs> Monday. Hey guys, welcome. Does that work better for you? Does that work better? For, is that better for you? Me. Okay, there's like a mom walking, two kids in a stroller, and one strapped to her. Go mom. Okay, I'm showing you guys how to make wallets. That's the disclaimer right now. Okay, I'm making wall. Hey guys, I'm telling them. I'm Why your intro so short to me? I Help me out here. Help me out. Help, help me out. Help a sister out. Let's start over. <laughs> uh, 10 seconds, but now like 50.